I have a feeling it just got off a really rare bug. Really rare bug. Really rare bug. Oh wow. Oh wow. This is our mascot. She's cranky all the time. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Okay, hello. First things first. I got a microphone. um so hello good morning i had another early morning class today i <sighs> i'm still very tired but i wanted to film a little morning island tour of high garden we are here in my living room and i tried to make my house kind of reminiscent of my apartment so lots of pales pastels white uh very simple got some records over here a little record player got a little desk little coffee table with a puzzle plants etc back here we have the bedroom got again very simple pastel pink very calming i actually made oh didn't want to do that yet no not yet gets back up uh, i made a custom uh design for this just plain white fluffy looking duvet to match mine in real life some more plants some books rover suitcase of course just in case you got to go for a trip come on Bunny's here with me today, cranky as ever. Next, we have my beloved fish room. I studied ichthyology in college and I love fish, so I wanted to make a little fish room with some of my favorite items. So we've got a little blue marlin, um, we've got Nemo and Dory over here, we've got some trophies, some other fish, my coelacanth and my criminally small coelacanth model this is sponsored by cj and my whale shark of course the puppies of the sea um so they're my little fish room love that for me thanks next over here we have one of my favorite rooms of course the basic kitchen that everyone has again just pink and white and pretty simple um got a little mushroom wall hanging from sonia so thanks for that some more plants i should turn my phone on silent um a little cake a little um what's that called sonograph i don't know but that thing playing some nice little jazzy music a um, little apron, we have a little cuckoo clock. Um, my grandma had one of those in her house and she loved it and she started collecting them. So that is to remind me of her. Of course, a pink fridge is completely necessary. Some more flowers. I love those little light switches for some reason. I need a white one if anyone uh, wants to help me out with that. Next, we have upstairs, which is another little just kind of living lounge area. Pretty similar to the living room. We've got a little place to do our nails if we want. Um, we've got just some fun stuff. A little music stand, another desk, a cork board, a little mini fridge. Of course, we have a switch and a TV to play some games. Got a little cat bed, a little cat dish for bunny um a little bookshelf record player just some cute stuff a globe again very reminiscent of my real life apartment and then of course a crafting bench uh 
Um, and then our basement. So I wanted to put a bathroom in my house, but I didn't want to sacrifice any of the rooms that I had. So I decided to make the downstairs like half a bathroom. So we've got a robe, some towels, um, shower, tub, toilet, etc. And then on the other half, we have one of those, you know, I feel like everyone had this friend growing up. The one friend that had like the basement or the extra room that was like a little secret lounge area. So I turned this into like a utility room. We've got a washer, a dryer, a vacuum, a radio. But then we have this couch and then like a little tiny TV and a switch so you can play games. And then like a changing room and a ironing board and a clothing drying rack. Just because I feel like everyone had one of those friends, you know? Go down to the basement and it was like, felt like a little secret layer thing, but it was like just a basement. So anyways, that's what that is. I like how it turned out, um, how I was kind of able to turn it into two rooms. And I used Sahara's cloud flooring down here to kind of give it the vibe of like a, uh, like a steamy, showery, you know, spa type feeling. Okay, um, that's the house. Bunny's laying down right in front of me. So, in our little yard, so my native flowers are mums, and of course I needed to put pink mums all around my house. So we've just got some seating areas, a little pool, some music going, a little birdhouse, because I love to bird watch, a little outdoor table with an encyclopedia so we can study up our insects, and a little bird bath. And then we've got um, a little our mailbox and some packages. I have my money tree orchard. Um, so every day I plant a 99k money tree. In the beginning I was keeping track of it with a spreadsheet and I was definitely profiting because so anything past 10k that you plant for a money tree doesn't always warrant three times that amount. Sometimes it only gives you a max of 10k no matter what you planted. But in the beginning, I was profiting off of making 99K. I think that like the algorithm or something has changed since then because I don't seem to get 99K as much as I used to. But by this point, it's just kind of a habit and I just do it every day anyways. Um, we've got some spare DIYs over here for when friends come over. They can shop over there, take from that. Um, we've got Lolly's house here. She has some cat grass, a little goldfish a little cat tower, a mum cushion to sit on, a little cat bed with some books, and a little shelving unit. Let's pop in and say hi since she's home. What is she up to? She is crafting, queen up and early crafting. I am kind of proud of Lolly's house. So when she came to me, she had this wooden block set for all of her furniture. And I slowly started gifting her these white, simple wooden pieces, um, trying to get her to replace the wooden block furniture because I don't like it. And I think it turned out pretty good, pretty cohesive. Her little bed matches her table over here. I gave her that sewing machine. But no matter what I gave her, she would not get rid of this damn bookcase. I gave her like, look, she got an idea. I gave her like multiples of the little white end table, little bookshelves, little tables, stools. I gave her everything and she refuses to let go of this freaking bookcase. So I'm just, she can keep it, it's fine. Um, it's her house, I guess, as long as she's happy. But yeah, so I'm pretty happy with how her, her little house came out. It's nice and simple. Um, and she's of course my favorite villager. So, back this way, we have Nooks. And then, which is not open yet. What time is it? It's 7.30. It's not open yet. Um, and back here behind Nooks, we have a little homage to my bartending years um, with a little bar back here. Got a little fruit infused water dispenser, a little recipe book, cutting board, a blender, a fridge. We've got some bottles back there. Um, fun little, little spot. We've got over this way, KK's here today. We've got the Able Sisters, 
Um, down here we have Chief, who is our resident orange wolf, big old sweetie. Um, so he has some orange flowers, a little, a little, um, what's that called? Ret retro record player, I think. And then the inside of his house is really artsy. There's like graffiti and paints and music and all sorts of stuff. So I set him up with a little painting area over here. Um, I've got the little paint set and then this little easel that he's working on that's depicting an orange, A, because he's orange, but B, because that's our native fruit here on High Garden. Um, so I thought that was cute. I think that there used to be an orange tree back there for inspiration for him, but I think that I've changed that. So whatever. Next we have Mr. Marshall's house. He's just got some nice little white artsy directory movie star-ish looking stuff out here. He's actually awake. So let's go in and say hi to him. He is our newest resident on the island. What's he up to? Hey, bud. Oh, Max. Max, that reminds me. I should show um, my bulletin board. Let's do that. And next down here, we have Miss Marina's house. She has some mermaid furniture, a little sand castle, and then a little spot here where she can sit and sip some coconut juice and look out at the ocean. She's also got a little sea globe, of course, and a, a mermaid screen back here. Um, some little hearts drawn in the sand. And then over here towards our entrance, we have a little seating area. This is our dock from the airport. We've got a little cafe area here with some coffee, um, someone's studying. We've got a little fountain with hearts around it and one of each of the fruit trees for visitors to pick fruit. And then over here on our bulletin board, so this is Max. Max drew this for me, a little picture of Lolly and Goldie, my little babies, playing some little Switch games together. So, Hit her up if you want her to come draw on your bulletin board. She's very talented, very sweet. I'm glad she came and did that. So, hmm, which way should we go? Let's go this way. So over here to the right, past Marshall and Marina and Chief, and across the bridge, we have Blue Bear's house. She's got the cherry blossom stuff, some blue roses, of course. Um, and then up this way, we have a little diving area. Um, you can jump in and do a little flip. We've got a little cooler and a little changing room. Here we have Miss Goldie's house with just some natural books and flowers and coffee and stuff out front. And a little heart-shaped pond, of course. Um, there's Miss Goldie. Hmm, which way should we go? We can go up this way. So up here is my first creation that I really made on the island. Um, and it's just kind of evolved. It's one of the things that I've like really kept around um, and haven't gotten rid of. So we have our little garden area up here. Um, this is where I breed hybrids, but it's kind of since turned into just a little rainbow garden um, with my favorite types of flowers. Some little seating up here and little decorations and stuff. Got our little beehives. Um, and if anyone has some black cosmos, hit a girl up because I don't have those. Hmm. Okay, so next. So for those of you who know what High Garden is from, you're good. For those of you who don't know what High Garden is from, it is from Game of Thrones. Um, it is where, remember Queen Marjorie, Lady Tyrell, Marjorie's brother? I don't remember his name. But anyways, they are from um, High Garden. And if you remember in the show, it was just a really pretty flowery place. Um, their sigil is the Golden Rose and they like have this big beautiful castle. 
So I was trading one time on, it was either Reddit or Nookazon or something, and someone was flying over and they were like, oh my gosh, hi Garden, I hope you have a castle. And I was like, I don't, but I'll build one. So after quite a while and lots of my friends sending me simple panels, so shout out to everyone on Twitter that mailed me all of the simple panels, mostly Cindy and Sonia, uh, but other friends as well. Uh, I finally got this castle done. I'm really happy with it. Um, it's funny, people that don't watch Game of Thrones come over and they're like, oh, Disney castle, which, whatever. But we've got our little castle here. It of course had to be pink just to match the island. We've got some little gold um, knights on either side, some little gold accents, and then of course the golden roses on either side. Um, I, I need to make my town flag like the Tyrell sigil that has the golden rose on it. And like maybe, maybe get, make it pink note to self for later and then we've got a cute little walkway down here to a little foresty area where you can just kind of sit listen to some music um you know feel all the vibes um hmm which way do i want to go in school i studied environmental studies so i like to keep a little bit of my island more natural just for the ecology and whatever um so up here i kind of left it a little bit overgrown. I love some weeds, lots of trees, lots of flowers, um, just kind of a little natural look. So we've got Stonehenge up here. I made a little land bridge because, because, example here, I noticed that I wasn't catching any of the big river fish or pond fish. And then I noticed because I didn't have a big enough pond anywhere on my island. So this little river area, this mouth of this river up here, I broke it into... multitasking anyways this little mouth of the river up here i broke it into two with this little land bridge so that i could have a true pond up here and it's not just all river so i can catch some of those big fish um when i fish well anyways um got some little stools up here for seating a little uh workbench up here for when my fishing rod breaks <laughs> Um, of course, Red's little area down there. And then over here we have a little, just a little picnic-y area where you can lay down and listen to some music, read some books, just be in nature, you know? Some bamboo, a little pond thing over here. Um, and then down here we have Poncho's house, a resident jock. Poncho is this little navy bear cub. So he has some exercise equipment, a little surfboard, a little mountain bike. And then we've got a little seating area up here with a little kettle, some coffee. Um, and Butch is our cranky puppy. He is this guy right here. The cutest. So I've got some some butch type stuff out there. What's that bug? I have that too. Um, and then we have our rock garden um, that I slaved over and I honestly cannot tell you that it's worth it. Anyways, um, let's go down this way. So down here we have our little museum area and a little Italian street side bistro cafe thing with a little music spot and pizza oven. Um, that is the bridge back over to Goldie's house. So let's go back this way. Across this bridge. And we will get to Hornsby's house, resident lazy king of High Garden. We've got bugs out here for him. Little ant farm, little tricycle, little garden gnome. He also loves snacks, so he has his little um, fruit wreath. And then, oh, here's Hornsby. He is our blue rhinoceros. We also have Mr. Ozzy, 
who is our resident academic. He has a little microscope and a textbook and then a little lab experiment kit over here. And then back behind there, we have a playground um, with some toys, a rock climbing wall, some vending machines. And then down this way, we have some more fruit trees up there. I have that too. Um, we have my turnips that are spoiled because I time traveled back a few hours because when I logged on, I didn't like the music that was playing and apparently time traveling backwards like two hours spoils all of your turnips. So anyways, um, moving on. We have our little, I don't know, this area, whatever, um, down the boardwalk. On this side of my island, the beaches are not really decorated. I tried to just sprinkle around some textures and plants and stuff. Got some little lounge chairs. Um, down around here, we have another little loungy area, more plants, um, music, just a nice little beach spot over here we're now back in front of lolly's house we have our campsite so a little hammock a little spot for them to sit and read some chairs bonfire the usual this is the beach in front of my house and then we're going back across the airport area um marina's beach again I'm really happy with how that turned out and then over here we have our beach soccer area. I used to play soccer, so I like that. And then we've got our little fishing pier. I think that's the same bug we keep seeing. Um, another little beach area with some toys and some towels. Our lifeguard station and our um, rule board. I made that one night after drinking some wine and I thought it was hilarious, and I have left it up. Um, our diving area again, and then up here. How do you guys decorate your beaches? I need ideas for all this dead space. Up here we have a little stargazing area, a little celestial place um, with some of the zodiac furniture, a little fortune-telling spot, um, etc. And then I just kind of to fill the space and lead people, I put these little boardwalks down here um, because I don't know what to do with any of that space. So there's the dream address if you want to come visit um, and my birthday. Put it in your calendars. So yeah, that's a little tour of High Garden. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any ideas or suggestions, let me know. I want to start touring islands and recording them. So um drop your dream address down below or let me know i can like we can do a live recording um i think i'm gonna do it with some of my friends and do like the voice chat so that they can kind of chat in on the video but yeah thanks for watching um that's all i feel like i should say more things here but I don't have anything else to say. So thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.